Hey everybody, I'm Manny. Welcome back to my channel, SoCal Shave. So we're here back for another video. Today is going to be something a little different. I got tagged by uh, Kevy Parr over at Kevy Shaves for this 54321 tag video that's been going around. And I got some products here sitting on the side. Going to go ahead and share, uh, share them with you guys. Um, something a little... Um, it was very hard to do this because um, I don't think it's fair. <laughs> it's not fair to the rest of my shaving gear, man, because uh, um, I, I'll i go ahead and, and show you what I'm going to show you here and explain why I do it. But uh, I just want to let you guys know before I start uh, anything here or before I go on anything, any, any further is um, I know a lot of you guys are going to be thinking, hmm, I really thought he was going to... Uh, say this was one of his favorite products or hmm i thought this would be his uh favorite razor or that's odd you know so a lot of what you're gonna see here um it's some of my favorite gear because if not i wouldn't have it here but it is definitely not the number one they a lot of these do come close um and some of them probably are but um i had to pick something that really um hmm reached out and grabbed me in a way um and there's a lot more i mean we're talking over 10 different items extra that i could have said hey that would have been my my, my favorite or, the, or this would have been a whole lot better or, i wish i would have replaced this but there's not enough room for it because it's the five four three two one so we gotta go with what we go go with all right so uh some products uh are new that were shocking to me either uh scent wise or um a product i really need really didn't get to try very much or or um something that really spoke to me and a poche feel or um, the knot of, of a brush so i'll go ahead and explain that so let's get started so five favorite uh soaps um here we go so i went with uh tobacco from uh, uh wet shaving products wsp and this is the uh formula t version t for tallow and the reason why i picked this is because um i wanted to go with um for the soaps i really wanted to go artisan um, um there's a lot of products that man well and over you know greatness with with the stuff that i've used uh, over time but I, I wanted to go artisan with the soaps uh and the soaps only uh so definitely um i wanted to go with this because um i love tobacco tobacco is an awesome scent i love tobacco scents i got turned on by tobacco uh, from i got turned i got turned on to tobacco scents for some of the guys tony and alex and um I couldn't, I couldn't bring myself to put into back uh, in the lineup because, like I said, I really wanted to do artisan, and uh, WSP really uh, shined through for me when it came to artisan soaps. Um, the slickness, the cushion, the protection—it's all there. The scent is extraordinary really really awesome scent if you're gonna if you love to back you're gonna love this it's got a more creamy subtle fresh vibe to it um it's really really gorgeous scent i really 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 dig it i think you will really love this if you give this a shot so that was uh one that i picked here uh the next one uh sadly uh they're no they're no longer in business uh from what i remember uh correct me if i'm wrong but uh the next one is uh pacific coast kahuna and this is from alvaro and this scent to me speaks out only i mean that's what i get up but it, it's it strictly speaks out to me it screams out should i say barbersol uh barbershop barbersol scent and it's 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 super amazing the the cushion the glide the protection it's all there um really really happy uh, i got this because this was a very um um this was a very popular scent this one here and uh, yeah so right when i got it literally about i don't know about a week or two later um i saw I forgot who was talking about it in one of the Facebook groups that Alvaro is no longer making uh, creams. I don't know if they came back. I don't know if that was even uh, real news, um, but it did It did um, present itself uh, on one of the uh, Facebook groups or Messenger or uh, 
uh, YouTube, but um, I, this is another great one. So Pacific Coast Kahuna. The next one is a um, product I recently revisited. Um, I have not tried um, anything else from them. Uh, I was pretty turned off in the very beginning because I tried one of their hard soaps and I was not pleased with it. The slickness was not there. I didn't I, I didn't like the scent. I thought that scent was pretty boring. Um, I don't remember the scent um, of the soap because it doesn't have a label like these do. Um, so, I mean, we got to take it for what it is. But uh, I was reintroduced uh, to this item by um, Reed, uh, also known as Shave Cave on YouTube. He has sent over some goodies. And this was one of them. This is the Holy Black Secret Stash. And this one is called Ramos Gin Fizz. Now, if you guys have tried, uh, um, if you guys, if, if you guys have ever tasted uh, the ice cream, what is it called? Um, creamsicles, right? I believe so, right? Um, or I've had the drink um, Orange Whip. Uh, that's what... That's what this scent smells like, and it is it is extraordinary. Oh man, this scent is to die for if you love those scents. I can smell this all day. Uh, the, it, it is a crope. Um, it works wonders. It is fantastic. It's slick. It's cushiony, protective. Everything you want in a soap. I really, really enjoy this. So I'm really glad that he sent this over because he reintroduced me uh, a, a soap that I, I put off, um, that I, I put aside and wasn't even thinking about looking back to it, but, um, that is one there. <coughs> Excuse me. The next one also was, uh, introduced to me by a friend and this was, uh, introduced to me by, um, uh, Mike owner. And this is Declaration Grooming, also known as l, l Grooming. And this is Curated Spice. And uh, this stands for, uh, this is a name in French that stands for Leather and Spice. Fantastic scent. The best way to describe this scent is like uh, graham crackers, gingerbread cookies mixed with Old Spice. And the very upfront scent that you get out of this is leather. Um, it is such an amazing scent. If you think that those scents smell good, uh, sound good together, you really love this. It is not a, at all a gourmandy scent, although I said, you know, I said what it smells like, but that's the best way to describe the scent. It's it's so well put together. The scent is so well put together that it is amazing. Um, the cushion, the glide protection, it is all there. This is an, an all around fantastic uh, soap base and this is the new soap base known as milk steak uh, so check them out um, now this one this is this is one of my top uh, fragrances top contender this is a soap that I cannot see myself uh, without uh, in my den um, and I'm so happy that I own the trifecta and this is Fougere Gothique from Barrister and Man. And that is <clears throat> the side label there. And if you, I, the, I, it's very hard to explain this scent, but the best way to describe it is, um, it's it's got this, uh, mm, uh, like rot, rotted vegetation, uh, it's it's dirty. It's 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 earthy. It's it's got this um, the scent that comes out to me. It, it screams out uh, fall, um, um, autumn time when the leaves fall down and that scent that comes up when the uh, leaves are decaying, um, mushroomy. Um, it's an amazing scent if you're one about outdoors and you really love the fall, the autumn time. That kind of scent that that whiffs up in in the air and you can smell. Oh, this is this is this is that. This is amazing, amazing, great performance soap, great slickness. This is all around just a fantastic soap. And I have the trifecta, the soap, splash, and the EDT that was all uh, sent over from the man himself behind um, Wow, uh, Barrister Mountain. Uh, 
uh, Will. Um, Will Curious, Curious, Will. <laughs> Let's just call him Will. Uh, so that is my five soaps. Um, the next one is a four post shave, either balms or splashes. And um, these are not all artisans, but uh, I, I couldn't go all artisans because Man, I got so many items in the den besides the ones I'm going to show you right now that are just up there with the rest of them that I can't put, fit them all in. Because again, it's the 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So uh, we can't go over and beyond, right? So um, I do have to put these together because you can either choose either or. Uh, and this is the Thayer's um, Gentleman line. So you have a... Um, aftershave you have an aftershave splash i know that says lotion but it is an aftershave splash and it contains alcohol then you have the aftershave balm and the sense um the weird thing about this is when i did the trifecta because it does uh, they, they do do a cream the cream was a bit off-putting it did dissipate quite a bit the scent does not smell like this this one does not smell like this they do have a different scent it almost seemed like they purposely made the scents separate and when you put them together, they intermingle with each other and they complement each other very well. So I don't know the best way to describe it, but if you like, uh, um, like, like sandalwood, tobacco-y scents, uh, cedar and oud and stuff like that, if you like those kind of scents, I'm not saying that this is all that's in here, but it's got that kind of vibe to it. Um, uh, earthy, dark, very fresh and masculine all at the same time. It's very hard to describe it unless you've used it for yourself, but they've got some awesome post shave feel. So I put them, I know that there's two of them here, but it's it's because it's it's either aftershave or bombs so that you guys choose. <clears throat> the next one really, really impressed me. Um, I have not, I, I know that you, it's kind of like something basic and you, you probably think, why did I even put that in there? Cause I haven't tried it and it really spoke, uh, it spoke out very out loud to me and it really grabbed me and pulled me in. And I'm really glad that I got a chance to try it. And this is Pinard Clubman. <coughs> Excuse me guys. I had a sneeze there. <laughs> Pinard Clubman Special Reserve. The scent is absolutely amazing. Um, like I said, it's, it's to die for. Um, someone like myself uh, wouldn't use this in, in the very beginning when I first started, and I absolutely fell in love with it. The scent that comes off of this is absolutely amazing. Really gorgeous scent. Um, I don't remember all the scents that are in it. I think it's like cedar, um, cedar, leather, clove, um, a great mixture of scents. Really, really gorgeous scent. But not only that, this has got an awesome post shave feel. Uh, this is not like your Club and Pinard, and this is uh, not like your li Lilac Vegetal. Uh, although the, the Lilac veg Vegetal has is, is got a nice post shave feel, but this feels a whole lot different. This is not like your Lime Sec. This is not like your, uh, your um, Citrus Musk. Um, it's got a different feel. Um, I really, really enjoy this. This is really really awesome um with those these were the two that really um had this post shave feel that i haven't felt in any of the other uh uh clubmen uh so if you're into a clubman if you want to get into a clubman that's got a really good post shave feel these two are really really good uh these are the only ones that i've seen that uh that had that feel to it but uh yeah this will be my second runner up here um so third um would have to be uh douglas's new formulation of his aftershave splash um i don't have anything that feels like well i don't have anything that that's um that's identical to this uh but i do have some that are similar uh but this one i was really really um 
I was very happy with this. Uh, the, 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 the pole shave feel is just amazing. You do not need an aftershave balm for this. It doesn't feel tacky. It doesn't feel uh, oily. It just feels just awesomeness on your face, man. Really, really good. And the scent is amazing. Sadly, uh, the uh, ox blood or red label is no longer available. And I'm so happy that I got a hold of this through one of the uh, buy sell trades, the BST uh, uh, forums on Facebook. So. Keep your eye out for that one there. And my last, my fourth, um, would have to be tobacco. I had to put tobacco in there somehow. I didn't want to do the soap, but I did the, I did the uh, bomb. This bomb has got some really good post-shave healing properties to it. If you have not tried it, highly recommend it. Uh, and also pick up the splash. The splash is, uh, is fantastic. Uh, it, that in and itself, um, I think you would really enjoy it. But that would be my fourth three brushes hands down i had a, i already knew what i was gonna pick no <laughs> there was no no doubt about it so this is my um uh infinity um my infinity brush from um west coast shaving and this is the brush guy brush and this is verde chandra and the awesome, beautiful badge knot on that. I will post on the screen here all the information for these brushes because I've got so many brushes that I can't remember all sizes and lofts and all the information. It's a lot to remember. So I will post the information on there on what kind of uh, knot that is, but just an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous brush. Try and get, grasp all the colors in this brush, but there you have it. The next one, again, I'll post the information on the screen here. This is my That Darn Raw brush. And this was a brush that I won on one of the raffles along with the limited edition soap. super beautiful this is a spaghetti spalted oak or resin uh, resin on spaghetti spalted oak super super gorgeous brush really happy this is a fancherian v v3 v4 v v something i'll post it up again but uh, super awesome, very gel tip brush, really, really great brush. Highly recommend you checking out this artist and that darn Rob. He's on Instagram, he's on Facebook. He does some gorgeous and very amazing work. So highly recommend him. And also the Martins, check out the Martins. They do some fantastic brushes, man. Really, really happy I got these. This was a gift from my wife. And we went, we went to one of the uh, meetups in San Diego. The next one is my retro nostalgia. <laughs> um, my uh, Grizzly Bay brush with a 30 millimeter bore knot from Whip Dog. I know you haven't seen these brushes very much on camera, but I have been using them. I can't put every single shave on camera, but I do my best and I try to put what I can, the content that is uh, on camera. But if you wouldn't believe it, this is, um, uh, I could have sworn they're both 26s, but let's just go with that. Um, I could have sworn this was a 26, but there is a knot sizes on those. This one in here, I know it's a 26 for sure. But if you guys can see the difference there. The 26 versus the 30. It don't look like much. But man, when you uh, soak it and you lather it up, it shows. <clears throat> so that right there, hands down, my uh, three favorite brushes. Again, not the best because I do have many more. But these are some of my top ones. Uh, if, if not, I would say... I think they are my three favorite ones, <laughs> to be quite honest with you. Uh, let me get into my two favorite razors. Um, some of my two, 
uh, it was hard. It was hard. Um, I'm not saying these are my number ones, but they are some of my favorites, and I'll explain why. Um, I picked this one because it's got a neutral, a neutral exposure. Okay. This is the fine marble razor. You see me use this quite a few times in the last past shave, so that says something. This razor brings out the best and worst blades. Uh, for me, I cannot use the Astro Blade. The Astro Blades are just horrible for me, and that's just me personally. I know that a lot of people favorite blades, and even this brought out the best in that blade. Um, I was very surprised. It does so well. The the efficiency, the cutting, the feedback that you get from it is just amazing. The reason why I picked this one over my my neutral head um, haircut and shave company, my high dollar uh, razor, is because this is a razor that, that I can afford to lose if something were to happen. If it were to fall or break, you know, no biggie. The other razor is close to a three hundred dollar razor. Okay, and um, they shave. I say almost identical. Uh, they're fantastic. They're just beautiful. Um, so I picked this one for that for that reason. That reason only is that uh, it's more. Uh, it's highly, much more highly available, um, and uh, I don't have to worry about it as much as losing it. Even though it's still a forty dollar razor, but just amazing. Oh, just amazing. Uh, uh, it's not. Um, a perfect work of art. It does have its its little um, issues and stuff like that under the cap and stuff like that. But um, man, what an awesome razor! I highly, highly recommend for everyone to try this razor out. Don't just use it once or twice or three times. Give it a shot. Use different blades. Try your different angle. Watch your pressure, and it's gonna repay you with some beautiful, beautiful shaves. So that is one that I picked there. And like I said, there was so many other razors I could have picked, but I was just, I wanted to use something that gave me that really big wow factor. Even though the, the haircut and shave company really gave me that wow factor when I used it. But like, again, you know, this is a, a, a much more of a budget razor that um, I, I can see myself grabbing more versus the other one and worrying about bumping it or scratching it or dropping it, you know? So um, that's the reason why I picked that there. The next one would be, the Rockwell 6S, the stainless steel. And uh, the reason why I picked this is because I've used this for so long and it is just, it isn't, it didn't seem, it isn't, it just, it always amazes me. It really does. Um, just the other day I used a shark blade on a setting two. I never thought I can get a good shave out of a setting two. Um, I always thought setting one and setting two were just no reason, there were no, there was just no reason for them to be there. Um, and it proved me wrong. It just, this, this razor just keeps, keeps surprising me. Um, and, and, and I'm really glad that I picked this up. Um, and, and it's, it's, it's for good reason why so many people rat and rave about this, you know, just like the car razor and, um, and, yeah, I cannot see myself not having this in my den. Um, this is the reason I can a razor I can definitely uh, use forever, and become an heirloom, and pass it down to my uh, to my uh, kids and or even uh, anyone else in the family for that matter. And um, if I really had to only use one razor, one razor only, this would be one of them. To be honest with you. Um, but I love all the razors just as equally. It's like all this stuff here, trying to pick your favorite child. I mean, <laughs> come on, man. It's not fair. That's why I was like, ah, oh, what do I use in this, in this, uh, in this um, tag video? The next one, the last would be my uh, one favorite blade. Now, again, I can't just pick one blade, but one of my favorite blades to use is the Permasharp. I know these blades so well and know that every single time I put this in a blade, in a razor, I'm going to get a fantastic shave out of it. It's got this certain smooth, buttery feel, uh, feedback sound that you get from it and always gives me an irritation, uh, BBS shave. And I just, I, it, it, it amazes me every single time I can get, I already forgot how many shaves I got. Out of it. I think I used to get like eight shaves out of this thing. Um, but really, really amazing blades. Uh, highly recommend you guys giving those a shot. I, it might not be your favorite, uh, 
I don't know, but um, fantastic. So that is my five, four, three, two, one uh, tag video um, that I was tagged by Kevin Parr. So thanks again, brother. I really do appreciate it. And uh, let's see, who are we going to tag? Um, because I am pretty active in the community. Everyone's been tagged, except for a few. And the few who um, I want to tag are kind of on a long hiatus. Uh, so I'm wondering if I can get them out of retirement. <laughs> it's, I don't know. Um, I was thinking uh, one for sure uh, would be um, Jeffrey Smith. So Jeffrey Smith, uh, I tag you for this 54321 if you haven't been tagged already, um, which uh, wouldn't be surprised that you've already been tagged. Uh, I did go look through his uh, um, through his channel, his YouTube channel, and I didn't see any 54321 tag videos. So uh, I'm hoping he, uh, uh, he can do the video. Um, the next one is Spencer Frankel, Spence Shaves. Um, I know he's, um, he's on a bit of a hiatus, uh, but with good reason, he's got some things he's got to work out on his end and, uh, he's MIA and the guy's growing a fucking beard, man. Ugh. what a shame, brother. What a shame. Such a great channel. And you're growing a fucking beard. Anyways, so spend shaves, brother. I tag you. Hopefully you can do this, uh, five, four, three, two, one tag video. Third would be, um... Who would be the third? I tagged him last time and uh, he didn't respond to the tag, but he is going through some certain things, certain, certain family issues himself. So uh, let's just give it another shot. Let's see if we can bring him out of retirement. So uh, the next one, the third one, my final would be uh, uh, Roddy McAlpin, Cap7597 on YouTube. Uh, so hopefully, Cap, if you see this, brother, you would answer this tag and get your ass out of retirement. And uh, let's see some videos again, yeah? So there you go. So those are my three. Uh, Jeffrey Smith, uh, Spencer Frankel from Spence Shaves, and uh, Ronnie McAlpin on YouTube as well. Uh, seven, uh, Cap 7597. So that is that, guys. I hope you all enjoyed this uh, tag video. Um, that is my gear for uh, the tag. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you do, please like, favorite, share, and subscribe. And again, thanks, Kevy, for the tag video. And let's see... Uh, what other products you guys have out there? Catch you guys on the next one. Later, guys.